All right, I found these old guys that my dad threw away. And I think that the color inside of them will match really well. There, there's a lot of kind of gold looking glitter inside of there with all of the purple and the green. And I think it'll go well with that. Because half of that is this color anyway, so we're going to go with that. We're going to try to get a lot of this color because it's the main body and it's a seven and a half inch swim bait so you need a lot of little worms to make one seven and a half inch swim bait. So I'm looking through some of my existing colors to see. I'm pretty sure I should always have a black somewhere. I think, think that that should be good. I'll use that black. It's got a lot of flake in it but I'll use that for my black. And I may use this for my red. It's not as bright red as I would like, so I might try to make a new one. Maybe with this pink, I might add some red. Try to make a true red. I don't know. Or I might go with this. I don't know. It looks all right. We'll see. Maybe. All right. I think I'm going to use this for the white. It's not a pure white. I I mean, it looks pretty white in the camera, but there is a little bit of blue in this that I used to try to mimic some other colors that have a pretty pearly white with a blue in it. Um, but I think it'll work pretty well. And uh, let's see, those three colors with the base. Um, what should I add? I'm going to need some heat stabilizer. And what kind of glitters do I want? I don't know. I think that the glitters are pretty well set. So I'm just going to go with those colors. So I was able to find this um, pink. At least it was like bled through pink. I think if I add a little bit of this to that darker red with some more of this dark red, that uh, it should lighten it up pretty good. And we should have a pretty bright red to go with it um, all right let's get started with it <clears throat> all right, add a little bit of the dark color a little bit of this pink which i'm not sure if this was done on purpose or if this just so happened to be faded like that in my grandpa's old stuff but i kind of like it Let's do that. We don't need a ton of red. So I think that that should mix together quite well. This color, got some white here and some black. Mm. We'll put them all in for a, uh, you know, the base minute and a half, and then we'll see which ones are more melted because some colors and some types of plastic melt a lot faster than others. So I try to set it up with the first minute and a half and then if anything is much more liquid than the rest, I'll take them out and let everything else kind of catch up and then I'll put everything back in for the last minute. So let's do that now. One minute and a half. Let's go. All right, let's check these guys out. The green, mm, a little melted. Mm, pretty much nothing got too melted from that first minute and a half. Just put them back in there. Usually it takes two minutes at least to get even the easier melted stuff to start melting. So I'll put them in there and I'll throw them in for another minute. All right, let's check them again. Now oh, the red's starting to melt. Red's usually a pretty early melter. Red and black also, let's check the black. Well, the black's also starting to melt. <coughs> 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 
stuff. Stinky, you need to ventilate. So, maybe it's because I have so many in here, but they're not really melting too quickly. Let's add another minute and see what, what happens. All right, once again, we're going to start removing these out here. The red's looking close, very, very close. Uh, the black as well. Uh, the white is also starting to, so maybe, hopefully they can all get to the melting point relatively similar times. That will help with everything, but even though we pretty much don't really need this to get hot yet. We're really worried about the black and the red first anyway, so let's just start with those. All right, time to check on the black and the red. All right, the red's looking good and it's very stinky. It's made mostly of power bait. All right, you know what? I'm gonna start with the red. I'm gonna leave this in here, let it stay warm. I'm gonna find my little needle. Where's that bad boy? Right here, in front of my face. All right, luckily my wife wasn't out here because she would have found it right away, I'm sure. All right, so first things first, boom, boom, boom. We're gonna take this, <clears throat> take my two piece bait molds and to mimic the red dots, we are going to try and take our little needle tip and I use this little bait uh, push rod uh, for pushing line through uh, like live bait because that little hole and the extra flat spot on the end seems to hold the plastic a little bit better than just a straight needle point. Let's mix this up. It was pretty dark but it's pretty straight red now. All right? Awesome. All right. Try to set this camera up so that you can actually see what I'm doing. And I will try not to block your view. <clears throat> All right, let's put some red dots on this mother. All right. It's a very slow process. I think that's enough for the red for now. So yeah, all that work with the red, and now we're just gonna set it aside. All right, let's grab the black. Let's see if it goes as easily as the red did. Cause that red went down very nicely, I would say, compared to the last time that I tried, which was the first time that I tried. You know what? All right, so there you go. That black has been burnt. Look at that. Oh, you can't even smell it. We're gonna have to make some new black though. All right, so I got a brand new jar and black's pretty easy because people buy a lot of black and blue and then my experience the people around here don't use a lot of black and blue so we got some black and blue lots of black and blue and actually pretty high quality black and blue so we'll probably only need two of these I'll probably only click two of these because <clears throat> black is very prone to burning in remounts at least that's what I found <clears throat> and you saw a very good example of that right before this. <clears throat> so, actually I did end up using all three. But, boom, 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 I bet you this heats up very nicely. I'll put a little bit of heat stabilizer in that. Boom, 
that's what I had in the last video. But we're going to explain it a little bit better. It helps keep the plastic from being <coughs> adversely affected by the old heat. All right. All right, let's check on this black. Yeah, see the first time, boom, first microwave. Much quicker than most. Odd smell with these ones, what was that? Mm. Big bite baits. Got an odd smell. Kind of minty almost. All right. So we can do with the black. There's a black dot. Black dot. I suppose I could stop saying black dot. Ventilation is key with this plastic stuff, I will tell you that. It's one of the first things that they said on the videos that I first watched when I was getting into this. And it is absolutely true because this stuff is can be gnarly. I think some stuff is gnarlier than others. I don't know. Maybe it just smells gnarlier. Maybe it's all bad for you. It's probably the case. All right, I'm done with the red and the black speckles on it. I think they came out pretty good this time. Uh, fairly intermittent, well spread out. I think that the next stage, if it goes well, it will look really nice. All right, so now I get to remount this white. <clears throat> Put it in for a couple minutes. Boom. And then we will outline the red and the black with that white. So what we're going to try to do now is cover each black and red dot with a white dot. My mistake. Let's get rid of this bad cold plastic.
All right, <clears throat> got one side done, but it took so long that I think I'm going to microwave this for another 30 seconds. Get the white back to liquid form before I do this side. All right, that was 30 seconds. Seems to have been enough. Let's put this on this side. Let's try to get you some good lighting on that. See, I made a little bit of a mistake there on that little last red one <clears throat> before I did the last two black ones. I let the white start to coagulate a little bit too much and it stuck to the red when I went to drip it over the outside. So now, also there are a couple other mistakes that are made on here. You could see right there, um, just, just a little bit too much when I tried to cover up the black. Uh, if you let the white get too uh, solidified, it will glob up right there and I'll have to cut it up. So I'll have to make a little cut. Let's see, like about, right, um, about right there and about right there. And I will do that off camera because I need two hands for that, but I will show you the after. All right, after further inspection, that one has two black dots. You can see one black dot there and one black dot there. So I didn't think it would be necessary to clip this piece in the middle. And this one only has one, so I took a lot of that off, so I'm going to just go ahead and go with that and see how it looks. All right, so you can see that we have it together. See the black dots, the red dots that are covered by the white Ooh. on both sides here. And now we're going to pour the body color. Um, let's see what it comes out and looks like. All right, upon further investigation, I don't think that that's going to be enough. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit more green and uh, try to make this color uh, spread out a little bit more so that I could fill this entire mold. I don't want to go halfway and end up messing myself up. So I'm going to add some to this and, uh, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> little bit of heat stabilizer now let's see what that looks like give our little mix then my stick off Alright, I'm going to 
All right. Well, boom, boom, boom. Got my green chartreuse, non-bleeding. A few drips to that. I'll try to yellow this up. Oh, well, it scored it a little bit on there. Yellow this up a little bit. It's pretty hot. Try not to touch it too long. That's what I got the hot pads for. I need them. All right, now I think this could benefit from. Uh, Another 30 seconds in the microwave. So we'll do that, and I like it. You know, it's a it's a pretty decent color. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be recognizable as a brook trout. Uh, 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Boom. Should be hot enough by now. Grab the hot pad, pull it out, mix it up. Just gotta clean off your stick. All right, let's fill this baby up. A little bit of spillage there. Trying to get the tail first. There we go. I think that looks pretty good. Now, we take it and clean it up a little bit, and then grab our torch and the beauty of a two-piece aluminum mold is that you can set the layers. So, our black and red layer, our white layer and our green layer are all going to be set together by the heat of this torch. 